Hello again, everyone. My name is Rohan, and I will be performing for you first a monologue from Titus Andronicus in the role of Aaron, followed by sonnet number 144, and ending with a cold reading of Henry V in the role of Henry. Even now I curse the day, and yet I think few come within the compass of my curse, wherein I did not some notorious ill as kill a man, or else devise his death, ravish a maid, or plot the way to do it, accuse some innocent and forswear myself, set deadly enmity between two friends, Set fire on barns and haystocks in the night, and bid the owners quench them with their tears. Oft have I digged up dead men from their graves and set them upright at their dear friends' door, even when their sorrows almost was forgot. And on their skins, as on the bark of trees, have with my knife carved in Roman letters, let not your sorrow die, though I am dead. But I have done a thousand dreadful things as willingly as one would kill a fly. And nothing grieves me heartily indeed, but that I cannot do ten thousand more. Two loves I have of comfort and despair, which like two spirits do suggest me still. The better angel is a man, right fair. The worser spirit a woman, colored in. To win me soon to hell, my female evil tempteth my better angel from my side, and would corrupt my saint to be a devil, wooing his purity with her foul pride. And whether that my angel be turned fiend, suspect I may, but not directly tell. But being both from me, both to each friend, I guess one angel in another's hell. Yet this I shall ne'er know, but live in doubt, till my bad angel fire my good one out. <laughs> <coughs> We are glad the Dauphin is so pleasant with us. His present and your pains we thank you for. When we have matched our rackets to these balls, we will in France, by God's grace, play a set shall strike his father's crown into the hazard. When I do rouse me in my throne of France, I will rise there with so full a glory that I will dazzle all in the eyes of France. And tell this pleasant prince, this mock of his, hath turned his balls to gunstones, <coughs> and his soul shall stand sore Charge it for the wasteful vengeance that shall fly with them. For many a thousand widows shall this, his mock, mock out of their dear husbands, mock mothers from their sons, mock castles down. So get you hence in peace. Thank you.